Hey good Fox here. Today we're going to do a Brian Dawkins review 96 overall card. The sponsor today is the same as the alternative title of the video. Please don't hurt me Mr. Dawkins. You can watch him as his 9 foot tall self in my video on Saturday, but I'll be reviewing his 96 overall as that's what he'll be with the exception of November 13th and potentially May 13th 2016 for the rest of this year. Uh, better known as Brian, I'll eat your brain Dawkins. Weapon X, codename of Wolverine, known for his relentless aggression. The same way I attack crepes, he played college football for Clemson University, that's Clemson, South Carolina, drafted as the last pick of the second round, a compensation pick by the Philadelphia Eagles in 1996, nine-time Pro Bowl selection on the NFL's 2000 All-Decade team. His number 20 is retired by the Eagles, along with the Super Bowl chances, 37 career forced fumbles, and 37 career interceptions. He's got some nice symmetry, unlike Abraham Lincoln's face. Go ahead and check it out, I'll wait. When asked about Brian Dawkins, LG Crumpler immediately flinched and asked me who he could ride on to be placed in witness protection. As to what Dawkins is up to nowadays, one unconfirmed source has him in the uncommissioned building destruction industry. The Eagles have yet to make it out of a wild card game without Dawkins, presumably because they refused to sign him and let him walk to the Broncos, a team enjoying great success. Stats, he's 680,000 coins in the Xbox One, he's 6 foot tall, is a little tall to be playing Wolverine just like Hugh Jackman, 210 pounds, 92 speed. The top four free safeties all have 92 speed right now, Rod Woodson, Glover Quinn, Steve Atwater, and Dawkins. I have no clue as why EA doesn't differentiate between the four, probably because speed is far too important in this game. Anyways, 92 speed is okay, but it won't keep up with Perriman. 93 acceleration, three of those same four also have 93 acceleration. Again, weird how they are all the same. 85 agility, not the greatest for changing directions and jumping routes, like I jump mailman on their routes. 90 jump, no Glover Quinn, but it's serviceable. Intelligence at 86 awareness, I'm not going to look at this too much like textbooks in college. If you recall my defensive testing video, I wasn't able to find out what this did. 93 zone coverage this is good, but it seems a little low. 92 play rate good here too, wish it was higher though, at least like 94 like Quinn. 72 man coverage, don't man him up unless you want a completion, although he does do well on flat routes as you saw that pick earlier. 77 press, it's whatever, not a big deal because you won't be using a man press at all. Um, 94 pursuit, he'll take a good angle at the ball carrier then rob him with their shoes after he knocks them out of him. 85 tackle and 99 hit power, this is what changes games. It makes it hard for your opponent to run left without the fear of God in their souls. Opponents will regret running with Dree Archer when you have Dawkins roaming like a savage dog. 77 strength, 80 finesse moves. In case you blitz him and he gets picked up, this stats will allow him to slip off lockers like a marlin through waves. 76 catch, 60 catch in traffic, 68 spec catch. Not great at all. On the scale of Mean Girls Lindsay Lohan's to now Lindsay Lohan, I'll give it a 2005 Lindsay Lohan. On the verge of being a mess. What I want out of this safety is someone who can hit and recognize a pass either deep or in the middle and get to the player. So you want speed, acceleration, play rec, zone coverage along with that hit power. He's the best overall safety in the game right now because strong safeties are terrible. It might be useful to throw him over at strong and have Glover Quinn as your free safety, but does Dawkins show up on every play? No. He'll get beat over the top like every safety this year because EA made them dumb against fly patterns and paramen specifically. When Reach for comment on Brian Dawkins, Donovan McNabb was quoted as saying, this is a time to get better and we try to use this preseason as kind of stepping stone to take short steps to be ready by the time the season comes around. I'm pretty sure Donovan's taken some headshots over the years. Uh, and is he worth the extra 580,000 coins over style Glover Quinn? I don't know. They gave us a great safety that wasn't too hard to obtain in Quinn. But with Dawkins you're paying for that 99 hit power. It does show up and don't you forget that, but is it worth it? Overall, for his price of 680,000 coins on the Xbox One, I give him an 8.2. With Quinn out there, it's tough to spend the extra 600,000 coins for hit power. Pursuit, 7 block shit also. When Quinn can play press man and Dawkins can't. I feel, I feel completely different than his play wreck and zone with like 96 and agility a little higher. But of course his overall will go up, so if they could take it away from something like um, awareness or something, then he would be worth it. But on the counter, he is just an animal in run defense. You could almost call him a Wolverine. Thanks for watching. Call to action. And we'll see you tomorrow.